Okay, I'm back on the 1946 Dodge truck again. And some of the things I didn't show you was I put a trailer hitch on it and connected the back frame rails together. And I made uh, some brackets to hold in a gas tank. And that gas tank is uh, off the Jeep CJ. I think it's like a 76 or 78, something like that. And I got to find some mounting places for this Vi Air air compressor and these little tanks that I got off of a old compressor. And I think I'm going to put that on the other side of the gas tank there. Now one thing about this gas tank, it's a bit small. I think I'm going to have probably some tanks in the bed that I'll feed into this. Just as extra gas in case I run low. But we're going to find some locations for these two things. And uh, then I'm going to start looking at putting the uh, rails coming off of the the roll cage inside the cab back down onto these frame rails here. That'll help beef up the whole entire back of the frame. Okay, I'm going to start the project today by turning this shoe box into a bracket to hold that compressor up in the air. I'm going to make it so it screws on from underneath the frame. That way I can just get under the vehicle and lower it down if I have to work on it. And then right behind that, in that hole back there, will be these two tanks. And I can just run that hose directly from the compressor to the tank. So I made a box and uh, now I just have to get some screw holes in there and I'm gonna screw it onto the frame and make it so I can take it out from underneath. Got a few different spots there. Looks like I can get to all of them. And that should work out good. So I'd forgotten to put that muffler on the front of it, that air cleaner on the front of the compressor. So I had to extend everything back and put some washers in there, but everything still fits and maybe I'll add on to that ear slightly, bring it back some. I have to do something with these tanks to hold them up. I guess I'll put something on top of it and then strap it up kind of like a, uh, a gas tank or something. Oops. You can see it kind of hangs down a little bit. It's not too bad. I think that'll be fine. So I made these two pieces coming down beside the tank there and they're screwed on so that way I can, it's going to end up being a triangular piece to hold up the tanks and I'll be able to unscrew it from underneath and pull it down so I can get the gas tank out. Okay, so you can see how I'm trying to cut that piece at angle in order to stick it up there and make a triangle out of it to hold those tanks up. It seems like that'll work out pretty good. It's about equal with the bottom of the tank. Then I can bend that tab over a little bit and I can uh, put a piece of aluminum under there, two pieces of aluminum, flat bar, in order to hold it up. So there's my cardboard that I mocked up my angles with. I'll just uh, cut my angles and uh, weld it together into a triangle and tap everything. And looks like I need a little uh, angle up in the corner there to put a nut on and I'll show you when it's finished. Okay, so there it is. Should be able to hit a couple hundred potholes in Pennsylvania and not have it fall off. I have to put some uh, rubber in there where the cardboard is so that it doesn't vibrate and I think it'll be pretty decent. And then uh, underneath here it looks pretty good. Sitting up there nice and high. I think it should be okay, shouldn't hit anything. So that's about it for this one. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye.